How's it going, guys? Me, David here for another shave. And today, I got a little cool, a uh, little cool set going on today. Uh, I was really excited when I seen the, that this was going to be released. Um, many of you guys probably already seen it, especially if you're part of the Instagram uh, shave community. But today, I'm going to be shaving with Razor Ruby. So I did get this already about, I think, almost two weeks ago. Or uh, I was part of the, I got, I got one of the the first release ones. Uh, I know they did a pre-order to release some more. And I've had it laying around the house. I just haven't had the opportunity to do a video with it. I have shaved with it once. Uh, but long story short, I have jury duty. So I actually got selected to be on a damn jury for a stupid case. But whatever. <laughs> Non nonetheless. Um, uh, so I've just been busy. So along with uh, football practice and dealing with the, with, with, uh, the judicial system, uh, I've been busy. So... Uh, I was really excited about this because just the whole style of it. If you guys have ever been to any of the meetups, uh, you see my wife Rocio. Yeah, she's not she's not this skin tone, um, but it just reminded uh, reminded me of her. Um, my wife likes to do a lot of like bandana stuff with her hair, and it just kind of just reminded me of her. And I just love the design of it. Uh, this is a soap by First Line Shave. Um, the owner of it, uh, First Line Shave, is a first responder. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of details. Um, I just haven't asked. Um, you guys have noticed that I'm not, I haven't been big on all the social media stuff in terms of uh, just general discussion with folks. Keep in contact with the people that are my people, but um, I haven't really had an opportunity to talk to this gentleman. A and the label design is by Chicano Designs. Um, I don't know his real name. Um, I've talked to him like once. Uh, again, just I haven't really been in contact, but he does great work. He's done a lot of logos for a lot of the uh, gentlemen on the the, the Instagram uh, site. Um, some for YouTubers, some just for general work. He's done some work with John Perry, who's a good buddy of mine. Love John. Haven't spoken to him in a while, but he's cool people. So I'm going to go ahead and use that today. Um, it's If you're a fan of Barrister and Man Style Sense, this will be something that you really enjoy. Um, it's cool if you guys have watched it uh, before. I'm not huge on Barrister and Man stuff, but uh, a lot of people are. So if you, it, this is very reminiscent of a Barrister and Man style scent. Can't really describe it because again, I'm not some fragrance um, aficionado or nothing. I, I don't know the details of it, but it just really reminds me of something that Barrister and Man would release. So, of course, today. I'm going to use the Snell Forge Custom. It just matches. Just could it be any better? Red, very aggressive razor, razor ruby. It just makes sense. You know, it just uh, I thought it was a no-brainer. It's getting a little bit, the finish is getting a little beat up. I've been abusive to this thing. You can still see the mirror polish on it, but it's not as good as it should be or it was. So. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this custom wooden handle. It's kind of a reddish wood, so... I thought it fit. This has the Envy White Knot in it. I have uh, good news to report on the on uh, the Envy Shave Front. I talked to Nathan Clark recently. Um, you know, he stepped aside to be able to uh, kind of stop doing some stuff so he could spend some time and focus on his family. That's always a good thing, man. You never want to neglect your family. Um, but he said he's actually going to, little by little, going to be inching his way back into things. Um, so happy to hear. So if you're interested in getting something from Nathan Clark, uh, hit up his Instagram, NV Shave. And I'm not sure if he's on Facebook right now. But either way, look him up. Real popular uh, brush maker for a very long time and then just disappeared on us. But he's doing well. And, um, you know, you should start seeing him pop up a bit more. So last time I used this soap, way overloaded it. Doesn't need a whole lot of work into I ended up having to add so much water to it because I just way overloaded. It was uh, something else, but that's a mistake on my part. On my part, man, nah, not even really a mistake actually, uh, because if you add too much soap, you just keep adding water until it looks right. So most lathers can be saved, and it was so even this. I loaded it way less than I did last time, and it's still overloaded. So I'm just going to keep adding water to it, make sure it's nice. I 
I've told you guys before, I'm not big on, on making sure to get those uh, soaps that'll sell out real quick and stuff. And that still applies. But again, just the style of this label. And labels are big for me. If I don't like the label design, I won't get a soap. I know that's kind of stupid. But that's just how I am. If it looks like, hey, don't bark. Stop. So use a little bit more water. A little bit of soap is gonna go a long way with this one. Have a good amount of hair. Again, I've been busy, haven't had time to shave. Luckily, today is Thursday. Uh, luckily, Fridays, we don't have jury duty. I don't know if that's normal or my judge is just lazy. But, um, yeah, so there you go. It's amazing the difference that a good stropping will do for a razor. Um, I have a tendency to rush through stropping. I often talk about making a lather and face lathering is my favorite part of, of the whole process. Well, stropping is my least favorite. And I could do it. I have no problem with it. Um, it just... I have a tendency to rush because, well, if you don't want to do something, you just want to get it over with. And that's usually the case. We're stropping. But today, I really took my time stropping this razor. And it just, it, it's, a, it's a big difference. When you've been shaving... For so long and then we all know what shaving can be a lengthy process sometimes you forget to appreciate um really good technique and i think that's really something that i did i really uh i really disrespected the process of of stopping and the last time I used this razor, it didn't feel this good. And I, now I know it's completely my fault. Respect the process and this stuff is going to treat you real good. So it was a good little reminder. So the San Diego meetup was last weekend. Um, really had a blast, man. And those meetups are always a good opportunity for me to kind of load up and um, really give you guys some new content, some new soaps, some stuff I've never used before. Uh, using new stuff always excites me. It's cool. And just, um, you know, thank you and congratulations to Oscar Sanchez. Him and his wife put on a great meetup. They picked a great spot. It was 301 Sports Bar in Chula Vista. It's a restaurant bar at Cigar Lounge all at once. Uh, so we really got to... To scratch every itch 
and satisfying any craving you really could have had. The food was fantastic. And their humidor wasn't huge, but they had a great selection of cigars. And then just the hospitality of Oscar, man, and 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 uh, Maria, uh, was just great, dude. They just wanted to make sure everybody was having a good time, make sure everybody was comfortable, make sure everybody had um, make sure everybody had everything that they needed, man. And it was just, it's just cool. It's cool to be uh, around people with good energy like that. I finally got to meet Marcos Jesus Mendez. Um, he has a YouTube uh, shaving channel as well. If you want to look him up, I believe it's under Marco Jesus Mendez. And that's a guy, dude, that you just, he, his energy is stand out. It's just positive. It's just good. You just, you feel good being around that dude. And that's nice, man. Like you can't teach people to have good energy. You either do or you don't. And he legitimately has it. And everybody was cool around. Of course, Douglas Smith was there. Uh, Abri uh, Abraham Viela. Viela. He was there representing him, not only himself, but also West Coast Shaving. Couple videos coming up soon will be uh, brought to you by West Coast Shaving and Abraham. That was really nice of them. Damn, I actually scratched myself. See, not really a cut, but it's a scratch. See, that's why you shouldn't be uh, shaving your neck and talking, but you know. Here I am doing it. It was just cool, man. And just being at this meetup, and it's been my first meetup in a while, it really got my juices flowing. <sighs> um, I want to make that Long Beach meetup happen. Uh, so I really think we're going to make it happen in, in 2020. The shaving community here in SoCal is actually pretty big. And even though we had a good turnout for the San Diego meetup, there was still a lot of people missing. Sorry, this damn shower door gets real loud. Um, a lot of people are missing. And I want to try to remedy that. San Diego, I know it gets a little bit far for people. It's all the way it's the most southern uh, part of the state. So sometimes, especially if you're somebody that lives maybe in Santa Barbara, uh, even Beverly Hills and those areas, it gets a little hard. And there's some people that I really wanted to see that live out uh, north of me. Um, so I'm thinking with the Long Beach meal, wow. something closer to L.A., um, we could really get all the, all, all the real south-south people get some of those northern people and really have a nice meetup over here. So I think it's, it's, it's going to happen. I, I, I got the juices flowing. I'm inspired. Uh, we're going to make it happen. Today, the aftershave is going to be the Razor Ruby aftershave. Really cool aftershave. You shake it up and it still get, get, uh, it doesn't mix. The color stays like that. I don't know if that affects the performance of the aftershave. I, I don't know. But feels nice. It works nice. Now, what all I got to do is change my shirt and get ready for jury duty. So, hey guys, as per the usual, I appreciate you guys for joining me if you made it to this part of the, 
of the video video man i got much love for you guys if uh, i've been noticing in the comments that some people would be like oh you're finally back well i've actually been doing videos now for about a month um about one once a week um but if you haven't been getting the alerts from uh from my channel uh there's a little bell down by the subscribe button uh, hit the bell you'll actually get an alert and an email and all that good stuff uh when i post a video so if you do look forward to when i post a video you want to uh, make sure that you're you're caught up and you see everything that I that I got going on. And if you want information on when that Long Beach meetup is going to happen, make sure you hit the bell, um, like, share, subscribe, and you know, catch you on the next one.